Hello data friends. PowerShell is a very powerful cross-platform uh, scripting language that can help you automate lots of things and in this way can improve your productivity. It's a language that can be run across uh, Azure, Windows, SQL and etc. It is cross-platform that means you can run this against Windows, Linux and macOS. In this short video I will show you how to install module, how to import this to the current session and how to uninstall and how to double check what kind of modules you have installed or imported in your current session. Okay. Let's get started. So I will open Windows PowerShell and if I want to install the new module, I need to of course uh, know at the beginning what the module is, what is the, its name. So in my case, I, I will install a module uh, which is called az.cql. Uh, to be able to install module, we need to put comment like install module and its name, okay, az.cql. This is the command that I need to execute. Let's do it. As you can see, uh, to be able to install module, I need to be administrator. Yeah, so I need to run uh, this um, uh, as administrator. So I will do that in a minute, but first I will show you how you can install the module uh, without administrator rights. So in other words, I can install this uh, for my current user. So to do this, I need to add scope parameter and says current user confirm because i'm installing from ps uh, gallery which is powershell gallery i will show you that later and the module will be installed in few seconds okay let's double check if the module is there i will use get module to do this as you can see, I can use star and there's nothing in the list. Yeah. Why is that? Because get module is showing only the modules imported in the current session. We didn't import anything because install modules, just installing the module, copying and downloading this module from uh, PowerShell gallery or other repository to your local machine. Yeah. So. If you want to see what kind of module we have uh, uh, available, we need to use this switch, list available. Okay, now I can see that I have uh, az.cql module installed in my, uh, for my current uh, user. And I have some other uh, modules uh, installed by administrator available for everyone. Okay, now let's uninstall the module. This is the command. which will uninstall this module. And right now, this module is not uh, available uh, any longer uh, for me and uh, for any other users of this uh, machine. Okay, now let's run this Windows PowerShell application as an administrator. Uh, so with administrator uh, rights, I will be able to install the module for everyone uh, in this machine. So let's check first what kind of module are modules are available. As you can see, I have nothing. So let's install this. And as you can see, I can I can click F8 on the keyboard to run the selected command. Now it shouldn't be any problem to install this module because I'm working as an administrator. Once this will be installed, I will check again what kind of uh, module, if this module is uh, already installed. Yes. And let's check. Yeah, as you can see, this module is already installed on my machine. What if I run this? Now it's not on my session. Now, as a standard user, let's run this uh, command to check what kind of modules are available. As you can see, this module is available, but not in my session. So import module is the command that allows you to import a specific uh, module to my current session. Yeah. 
so I will be able to after this command I will be able to use um, this module and uh, any command uh, um, available in there let's check yeah as you can see I have this uh, module if I want to see what kind of other, other modules I have available uh, right now in my session those um, those modules are available in my uh, PowerShell session right now the opposite of import module is remove module remove module will remove this from my current PowerShell session okay so you will see that I don't have uh, az.cql uh, module any longer how to uninstall module uninstall module is simple uh, it's uninstall a hyphen module and the name of the module so let's do it for all um, users as you can see I cannot uh, uninstall this module because it's currently in use and it's because probably my uh, session from um, Visual Studio Code is using this so uh, let's restart PowerShell session and go back to this application and try again as you can see this um, command successfully finished now this module is not available any longer in my uh, PC now let's take a look how I can install the specific version of um, a, a module so let's open first PowerShell gallery uh, I would like to show you that uh, this is the this is the place this is the server of all the PowerShell uh, packages and uh, that you can install by default uh, the PowerShell modules from so if I want to search um, this module that I just uh, installed and shows you it's here so when you click here on the specific module you will see the details about this module uh, additional information about it and current version yeah and current and all the previous versions so as you can see the current version is uh, 4.12 and this is the version that we've got uh, let's say that I would like to install version previous version which is uh, 4.9 let's go back to here and, in and install this version I'm installing this for current user as you can see it's running and now let's check as you can see now I have uh, this specific version that I've asked for 4.9 what if I would like to install this module again so let's uh, consider the scenario when you have some version of this module already installed on uh, on the machine uh, but you are trying to install um, the module again what happened yes we've got a warning that the version 4.4.9 is already uh, installed on this machine and uh, if I want to install uh, the newer version uh, which is by default the latest one uh, I need to use force parameter so um, yeah I need to use force parameter or I can update the current module which should actually replace the the existing one but actually it does not so let's let's install um, the module with a force uh, parameter and after this operation we should be able to see the latest uh, version of this uh, PowerShell module which is uh, 4.12 okay let's check this out yeah as you can see uh, the latest version of this module has been uh, also uh, installed on my machine but the previous one also is available uh, but by default if you import module it will get the latest version okay how to uninstall module I already showed you that so let's move on the last one uh, the last thing I would like to show you is how to use um, one of the commands from the module so in this example I will check few properties of my uh, already existing um, uh, Azure SQL server so I need to just double check my context 
if I'm I'm already in uh, log in. So this is my server. This is my resource group. And I would like to get few information about the server. As you can see, uh, I have to uninstall, uh, run the uninstall module um, command few times because I had few version of um, this uh, module. Now finally, I don't have any. After I upgrade AZ accounts. I was able to uh, import the latest AZ accounts and uh, import AZ CQL uh, module, which required um, AZ accounts with its uh, the latest version. That's it of, of this um, troubleshooting. Now we should be able to uh, execute this one. Let's check again the context. Context looks good. Uh, let's uh, execute this one and let's see who is uh, administrator of this secure uh, Azure SQL server. So Azure SQL server administrator type is uh, Active Directory group uh, of this name and identity and etc. As you can see, you can uh, build and check uh, different uh, properties um, of this uh, server. Thank you very much for watching. Click the subscribe button down below or let me know in the comments if you like to see any other topic about the PowerShell so I can record the video for you. In the meantime, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, yeah, hopefully see you next time.